Welcome everyone to Tender Moments with Team IGS. Jordan, how we sound? Do we sound good? did a show last year called the Dive Kick Esports Hour, and it was basically just a very subtle, uh, nuanced promotion of the game we were working on. In no way was it exploitive or kind of taking advantage of certain situations. So we're bringing something back this year, but it's not going to be just Dive Kick focused. It's going to be something we're going to, we'll probably mess around with the format as we go, uh, but right now we're planning on doing this weekly, every Thursday at 3, uh, barring no one showing up and watching this today. Um, and then we'll see what happens. So it's going to be, we're also playing with the format a little bit. It's not just about the games. It's going to be who's ever hosting it. This week I'm hosting it. Next week I think Keats is going to host. Um, Ramon is always going to be our epic man. Hello, Ramon. Hey, how's it going? Say hi to the people. Hi, people. It's Ramon Franco. He's an online programmer. Tell us a little about yourself. Columbia. He's our resident Columbia. Yes. Is there uh, a thing that says that? Like right here? Yeah, it says it's right there. So you are an online programmer here. Yes. You've worked on Third Strike, yep. Marvel, Dark Stalkers, Dark Stalkers, Dive Kick, Dive Kick, and a bunch of other games. And now Killer Instinct. And now Killer Instinct. You're the one kind of making the netcode even better. Good, good netcode, making it even better. Yes. So I'm uh, going to talk to Ramon for a couple minutes while we get people streaming in, while people kind of like, oh look, the stream's live, they're going to come in. I'm going to banter with Ramon every week for a couple minutes, because that's what we do. That is what we'd be doing this normally if you weren't watching. Um, and we're going to bring on a guest, an industry guest, every week when possible. Uh, this week we have Phil Tibitowski of Young Horses. He's going to join us. For those who don't know, and I can't believe anyone watching this doesn't know Phil because he's kind of a big deal. Uh, but Phil is the CEO and community manager of Young Horses. Is that right, Phil? Yeah. Okay. And he just recently, within the last couple of months, launched Oct Octodad on Steam, uh, PS4, and all that good stuff. Oh, Adam, do we have a problem? Music's really uh, loud. So the music should hear? be off now, though. Oh, Did off. they not hear our banter? Yeah, it was very hard to hear. Yeah. Aww. Okay, yeah, there's no, there's no meters jumping on the side, so I think music's off. Where are you going? So we're good? Want me to stay? La, la, la. La, la, la. Want me to turn the music back on, though? Nice. That's probably okay. pretty of us. Cool. Um, yeah, and so then we're going to bring out Phil and talk about just what it was like to make Octodad, launch Octodad. For those who don't know, like, it started off as a student game at DePaul. They launched, like, they did one as, like, their senior project. And then they said, hey, we like that so much. Let's do another one and make it a commercial release. We're going to hear all about that today. Then we're going to shut it down with two games. Um, for those of you that are here to see some KI, I got some good news for you and some bad news. Mostly good news, though. So Microsoft, even though they do their weekly stream, they've given us permission to stream KI, too. Uh, KI as well, I should say. Uh, we're not ready to do that today, uh, so next week we'll probably show some KI for the first time on the stream. And, but this week we're going to show Gunsport, which is a really cool game uh, done by Necrosoft Games, which is like Brandon Sheffield and his crew. Uh, it's like kind of like volleyball with guns, but we'll get into that in a minute. Phil's never played it, so we'll get to see it. Uh, we have some killers, though, at Gunsport here. They're going to just dive in and chew it up. And then we're going to show some Dive Kick Edition Edition Plus. Uh, quick update on that for everybody who cares, the three of you. Um, it's in CERT for PS4 and Xbox One, and we're just kind of like fixing bugs and we're doing that whole thing. So uh, whenever that's done with that, we're going to launch it, and uh, we'll talk about that while we're playing it a bit. And the, the namesake of our show, The Tender Excellent. Moment. So We haven't, I don't know what The Tender Moment is. Is this something we had to rehearse? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's tender. It comes from the heart. You can't, right, you can't sure. rehearse it and it be a tender moment. Good. Um, so without further ado, yeah. let's bring on Phil Tipitowski. Thank you, Ramon. Slide on over. Phil, welcome. If there's an audience here, I'm sure you're yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So welcome. Well, um, is, is this your first time on the Iron Galaxy set? It is. How does it feel? Uh, it feels okay. You're, you're going to you wait know. and see how it turns out. It feels out. a little dangerous. You're going to wait and see how it turns I'm out. Taking my life in my hands. So here. smart. Yeah. So Phil, introduce yourself. Tell everyone who you are. Yeah, so uh, I'm Phil Tivotoski, and I'm president and community manager at Young Horses, and uh, which means I just basically handle all the miscellaneous shit that no one else should have to handle. I'm familiar with that. Yeah. When, so funny, when I was just kind of doing this thing, and you guys were getting going, and I saw your title on Twitter was president and community manager, I'm like, oh, well, that's so dumb. 
And then we first reaction. And then we started working on dive kick. And like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Because no one that's doing real work, like making the game, has time to do community management. Exactly. So that's yeah. what I handle. So, but now we've got you, Bailey. So we're saved. That's but, good. Yeah. I, and so now I understand. So I took your name in vain about four years ago, and I'm sorry for doing that because I was wrong. I'll forgive you in time. As it turns out, I was incorrect. Um, no, but welcome. So I guess walk everyone through. So you're born and raised Chicago, right? No, not no. born and raised, but born and raised. Born and raised, yeah. I mean, originally. Put on both sides. Rig- put, a, put a little <laughs> hickory barbecue, flip you over. I mean, I lived like a few blocks from smoke for a while. So <laughs> well, you're from Michigan, sense. right? Yeah, I'm from uh, Metro Detroit area. And I was there until I was like 18. Moved here for school. Uh, and then Octodad happened and I haven't decided or thought about. Did you live on 8 considered Mile? considered moving. Yes, I lived right on 8 Mile, but on the right side. Figured. <laughs> Had to know it. Yeah. That white privilege. No, see, it's like when people say they're from Chicago, yeah. from Detroit, same thing. It's like, I'm from, you know, 15 miles outside. I do the same thing. Like, I've never lived in Chicago. I've always lived in the suburbs. Yeah. But it's like, so like when you're at GDC or whatever, or wherever you're at, where are you from? I'm, from, I'm not going to say I'm from Frankfurt, Illinois. No one's going to know what the hell you're talking No one's going to know what the hell yeah. I'm talking about. It's oh, just Chicago. And if you get into it, then I'll come clean. But it's just easier. It's, it's nomenclature. Well, I actually live in the city. So. Good, congratulations. Fucker. <laughs> Um, I said I wasn't going to swear. This tender moments You're is going to be a, a curse-free show. Horrible liar. Oh well, we live and learn. So yeah, so you went to DePaul, and were you always enrolled in the game thing at DePaul, or was that like, did you know you wanted to do that from day one, or is that something you figured out? No, yeah, I knew I wanted to do it from day one, but I didn't know anything day one. Uh, I pretty much came into it only knowing some like HTML type stuff, which isn't even really programming. Yeah. So uh, I was a brand new spanking. You know, powdered baby. So what made you want to, if you've never done it before, what made you want to do games? Like, what made you want to try that out? Well, I mean, I've been playing them since I was, like, three years old, uh, since, like, Genesis, but I'm also a baby. I'm only 25. Um, But uh, I had done some basic stuff, just, like, messing around with uh, all the, like, uh, like the the extra, like, info files that games come with and stuff, where you can kind of just mess around with some of the settings and stuff. And I'd done some... um, Tried to mess with textures uh, and modeling in black and white. Uh, tried to mod that kind of stuff. So little mod stuff here and there got me interested. And then just like playing games and wondering like what is a programmer, what is a like three D artist? When because I decided you know that I was going to be in games when I was like I don't know ten or something. So, so does DePaul have a CEO track <laughs> for game in the game? Curriculum? No, no. I was a programmer uh, while I was there, and I was a programmer on the first Octodad, a gameplay programmer, uh, and then. When we moved over to start working on Dadliest Catch, which is the sequel to Octodad, uh, the so, commercial so, 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 one. So, so yeah. how, did, how did you guys come up with the original idea for Octodad when you were in school? How did that happen? Because uh, it's like it's yeah. one of the, it's like one of those things you hear it and it sounds awesome, and then you see it and it is awesome. It's like <laughs> it's like it, it lives up to the promise, right? So that's like, good to hear. How did how did you? Because that's really hard to do, also. Yeah. Like so, I mean, if you don't, if you don't know what Octodad is, uh, you play as an octopus. Uh, who's the father of this human family, and they have no idea you're an octopus, and you have to pretend uh, that you're just like this regular dad, uh, and this kind of entails like knocking a ton of stuff over and just causing general destruction wherever you go uh, because you have no bones, and so it's really hard to like navigate the world and do normal things like you know wash dishes uh, without like throwing one across the room and right. hitting your kid in the head or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so. When so it was a project back at DePaul and it was a com- completely extracurricular thing uh, and it was basically just like so it everyone wasn't like part of, of it was extracurricular time? yeah it wasn't a class oh, I thought it was like part of like a senior project or something well kind of I mean like uh, two professors came together um, one of which was Patrick Curry who used to be over at yeah. Wide Load uh, I worked with Patrick at Midway oh okay cool yeah so. yeah um, but yeah he was part of it and they kind of were mentoring it and so they interviewed like fifty students and picked around twenty of them. Uh, and then we all just pitched ideas for a few weeks. And Octodad came about from the combination of Jurassic Park Trespasser, which is like this first person yeah, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park game, yeah. where you had these weird arm physics. Yeah. Uh, and then also... Weird, weird, doesn't, weird doesn't describe it properly. Yeah, it I was, mean, they tried to do something really cool, and it yeah. ended up just do, being like a physics... Let's say it was mess. ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, true pioneers. Yes. But, uh, and then also the, the film being John Malkovich, so like the idea of being in someone's head... And like micromanaging the okay, movements. Okay, I can see, yeah. So yeah, those two things come together. Uh, and originally it was like a cyborg and you had an alien in its head and you were pulling like levers <laughs> to control it and walking like down a big the street. Ma- like a kind of like a Pacific Rim style? Yeah, or like that Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. horrifying Eddie Murphy movie. Uh, 
And so it was originally like that, and then we just figured, you know, why not just like, first the alien became an octopus, and we are like, why don't we just put the octopus in the suit? It's funnier than, you know, like this rigid guy walking down the street, because he's like flopping all over. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how that came about, and from there just rolled and like, well, what would he do to fit in with humans? He'd yeah. have a family, and you know, he'd do all these normal things. So, so that was when you were in school. So did you finish that up before you graduated? Yeah, we, uh, so we started that in June of 2010, and we finished at the very beginning of November 2010, so it was like five, six months just. Got it. Uh, and then we released it uh, for free online and entered it into the Independent Games Festival, which is at the Game Developers Conference, uh, and we ended up placing in that. But before then, um, Devin and John, two guys on my team, had made a game, like a Flash game called Acid Couch, mm. uh, where you just take acid and trip out on your couch. Sure. And, uh, and basically that had made a really bad joke, but don't do drugs. <laughs> Go ahead. You don't want the, like the disclaimer from like, the I think 90s. my, I think my word is strong enough. Word strong. Kids acid couch. Go on. Yeah. Uh, basically that got them a little bit of press attention one time with like a article. And so we had an in and we just shot them Octodad, which was, uh, it was Mike Rose over at Indie Games. Uh, now he's just at Gamasutra. Okay. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. And then it just kind of started rolling everywhere all so over press. Did, did you guys decide, so you get that done, and it did get picked up everywhere. Like, I remember being at, I think I was Midway even at the time when all that happened. Yeah. And seeing, like, Octodad, Octodad, Octodad. And I didn't know it was from Chicago for, like, a year after I started hearing really? the stories about it. Like, I had no idea, right? Hmm. And then I got, like, DePaul, and then Curry talked to me about it, and then it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. So, like, so you get that done. It Was it obvious, immediately obvious to everyone that worked on it that, like, Okay, we gotta when we graduate. This is what we're doing, or was it kind of like some people wanted to, some people like how did that whole going from students to forming a game studio happen? How did that go? So yeah, because so we started at that twenty person team, and then now we're down to like seven uh, full time, and it was kind of weird because we didn't expect it to go anywhere really, because uh, we didn't show it to anyone outside of close friends until we released it, uh, and so all like the media attention and the praise and stuff was like really. Uh, I don't know, it just kind of took us back. Um, and then it started kind of blowing up on YouTube. And that's where I think it got a lot of its exposure uh, with some of the YouTubers. I, this guy named uh, Critical played it. Mm. Uh, and he had like over a million views on it. And I was just like, it's like, this is way more than our trailer. Uh, this is insane, <laughs> you know? Uh, and so just like that, that sort of stuff made us kind of realize that we actually had something special. Um, and then we got nominated at the IGF. Uh, and so kind of all that rolled together we were like okay this is might be something real might be something worth really pursuing um luckily we luckily we had legally kind of prepared for that at the beginning of the project yeah and so we were kind of set up to actually do it um we had a meeting and we're like you know who wants to continue doing this who wants to do this independently uh was that weird to sort through because like if some people yeah. that like <laughs> like they didn't want to continue but they like i contributed to this in some way and right. like, how, how sure. like scale well one to ten how hard was that it was I don't know. I, actually, it was probably like a four. It wasn't that bad, okay. to be honest. Because a lot of people were like, no, I want to go work on really big games or for Suckers. another company or whatever. Or they just, you know... At the time, like, the first Octa is super rough. Like, it definitely looks like a student yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I think it was hard to see where we could take that or what it would actually become um, when we released Deadliest Catch. And so a lot of people were just kind of like, you know, I'm, that's not for me. Uh, and plus it was like, hey, say goodbye to your social life for, like, three right. years. So, uh, and spend all your money on this. And so, like, what? So you say so that's an interesting thing. Spend all your money on this, because all you guys are independently well, wealthy, right? You're all. Like, oh yeah, we're you were laying just rolling like, in. We're basically sure. working on a game like three hours a day when you weren't in the Bahamas. Yeah, no. So, it, um, by paying for it ourselves, I mean we all had other full time gigs uh, while we were making the game, pretty much the whole time, and uh, that was just paying for you know rent. And stuff like that, and then otherwise we were we'd come home from those and then work three or four hours a night. Uh, on Where the did game. you work? Uh, most of us worked out. So at the beginning, six of us. Hold on, lived real quick. In one Speaking of work, I'd like to take a time to thank our sponsor, <laughs> Cherry Coke Zero. Uh, Phil's segment is brought to you by the delicious taste of Cherry Coke Zero. Not Lacroix. Guess, no, fuck Lacroix. It's Gosh delicious. darn it, I did it again. Guess how many calories are in Cherry Coke Zero, Phil? More than this LaCroix. None of the calories, all the taste. Wow. Okay, now continue your story. But yeah, we, uh, we all worked out of one apartment for a year. Uh, and then we all moved into another building where we were across each other, just like friends, real sitcom style stuff. Really? Yeah. 
Like two of so us you, want to You're the Ross. No, me and Devin were Joey and Chandler. <laughs> you want to be Joey and Chandler, but you're Ross. <laughs> oh, God. Go on, go, let's hear who else you think you are. Let me hear it. Go on. So walk through the rest of the so team and harsh. tell me tell me who's Rachel. Who's Rachel? Oh, man. It's John, right? Yeah, it's probably John. He's, real, John. Pretty. he's real pretty. <laughs> yeah, he's beautiful. He's a pretty boy. Uh, but yeah, so we lived across from each other in these two apartments. Uh, and so that was convenient because, you know, you just walk from one to the other to work on stuff. Uh, but we've been working out of dining rooms and stuff for years, and it was only recently that we actually got an office okay. um, after the game came out and did well enough. So I want to hear more about the struggles, though, that three years before the game came out, right? So, yeah. like, like, what was the darkest moment in that period for, for the team and for you personally? Because like, game development, like, here's the thing about game development most people don't know, is even when you are working on something you've already worked on, like, Say we did like Blitz the League two. We've done like a billion Blitz games or whatever. You're doing Octodad two. Yeah. Like there's the game sucks for like the first ninety percent of development, right? It sucks until it doesn't, mm -hmm. and that's when you know you've got something good, right? And yeah. so that's even for you. I'm sure that was the case, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The game felt okay for it felt really bad for a while, uh, and then when we had a lot of the content in it, kind of felt okay. But it wasn't until we had like the dialogue and a lot of the other stuff that we hadn't experienced that in that it felt good to us at least. Uh, but also, you know, we're our own QA team also, so we've all been playing to death. Yeah. Uh, and, I don't know, that kind of stuff. And then just, like, having money to live and uh, also using that money to take the game to shows and stuff like that. Because we raised some money on Kickstarter, which was enough to do, like, take care of some legal costs and stuff and, like, starting the company. So you did two Kickstarters, right? No, we only did the one. Only the one? I thought you yeah, did two. Okay. Just the one. Uh, we raised 24000 which How is great. How much did you ask for? Uh, twenty. Money. Yeah, it was a very early Kickstarter too, right? It was before. Yeah. This is before Double Fine. Yeah, and I think like right after Indie Game the movie or something like that. Okay, but uh, yeah, it was a back. So that was like a lot of money at the time for a Kickstarter to raise, and it was a good amount for what we needed it for. But it wasn't to fund the game. It was more so to like gauge like are people actually going to want to pay money for this? Right. And it was funny because at the time, uh, all we had were like concepts and uh, like prototypes in the Octodad One engine. So we didn't even have any of the game to show, but people still put forth their trust in us. So that was cool. That was me. That was all you? I made it happen for you. Nice. And jo Jordan, you kicked in? Nice. Good job, Jordan. Thanks. How much did you kick how in? How much did Dave? you kick in? $35. Jordan kicked in 35. Here's Thank the you, test. Here's how you know. What did you get for $35? It's a game. That's all I gave a shit about. No, but what else did you get? I like him. It's questionable that you actually did this. You don't remember all the tiers. <laughs> I don't know. God. Everything I've ever kickstarted, I can tell you every award I did or did not get. What did you get for Octodad? I didn't do Octodad. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah. It was such a good idea. All right, anyway, enough about that bit. <laughs> so now, so you didn't tell me your darkest day, though. What was your darkest day? Darkest day. Like the day you almost wanted to, like, was it, I mean, it could have been just a glorious, okay, so fun ride the whole time. No, right? no, it wasn't. Um, we brought a, a contract artist on towards the end of the project, like maybe, I don't know, five months from, from release. Uh, and his name's Nick, and we had him play through the game. I don't want game. you putting him in blasters. What? Oh, you're not going to put Nick on blasters? What? No, he's fine. Okay, good. It has nothing to do All with right. him and his work. Or All right, anything. go ahead. We just had him play through the game, because he, was, he had actually worked on Octet at one, but was one of the people who decided, you know, I'm going to go. He went and worked for Wide Load and some other stuff uh, first, and so when we called him back to do this contract work, uh, he's an animator, we had him play through the whole game uh, while we all watched, just to kind of gauge yeah. like, where we were at, because he's fresh eyes, um, but he understands what we're going for. Uh, and he was just like, he just got to a point towards, I don't know, half through, halfway through, where he was just like, this level is like the worst thing <laughs> on the planet. And he was like really like upset. Which level was it? Uh, it was the boat okay. at the time, which up until release, I still think it was not that great. Uh, we did a post-release patch for like the last three levels. I didn't have as much fun on the boat yeah. as I did the other places, yeah. When it start, we found out when it starts getting more stealthy and there's less room for failure. Uh, yeah, because it, it, it like the rough. magic of Octodad, at least to me, the magic of it is like the more you're messing up, somehow the more fun it is. Yeah. Right? Like and, giving, giving yeah. people the safe space to fail. Yeah. Uh, and towards the end, we, we were getting too good and too kind of, I don't know, complacent with where it was at. So we were changing things to make it more difficult and yeah. more about like almost Metal Gear Solid style stuff. I remember you guys saying you like you want to be like so you want to see these crazy speed run challenges. And yeah, stuff like yeah, that. yeah. Which we do have like uh, I think her name is Miss Catikins. She did like a 16 minute run through of the Ooh. whole game, okay. real fast. Um, 
But yeah, so just that, he like ended up walking out. Because he, he had just signed on, signed a contract, and oh. been like, oh, what shit. Have I like, into? Where yeah. you, yeah, where are you guys at with this? And we're like, you don't understand. It's been like this the whole time. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know? But at the same time, it was just like this whole, like, I don't know. It just turned, lead, led to some arguments. And like, Got it. I don't know. It was rough. Yeah. Uh, but we recovered, I think, and, and it's done well. So. Yeah. So, so then, fast forward earlier this year. Well, I guess let's, let's talk about last year real quick. So you are one of the few people in the world that can say you've been on stage for a PlayStation keynote. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, so, like, I saw you the morning. I didn't, so I didn't know you were part of the keynote. But you saw me. And I saw you in the morning. And like, you were, we were both at the Hyatt. Was it the Hilton? Whatever. I we're both at the hotel, and I see yeah. you. And they're like, hey, because I, I knew I knew Octodad was going to be in the show. Yeah, but you didn't know. But I didn't know you were going to be up there, right? right? And so I see you, and you're just like a fucking hot mess. Like, sorry, <laughs> kids. going to stop swearing, no, I yeah. promise, one day. And you're just like, oh, I'm like, dude, just relax. Even if something goes wrong, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. I'm trying to give you my Try encouraging to lie to words. Me. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, I didn't quite understand it. And then I'm sitting in stage. I'm like, oh, Okay. That makes more sense why he was so nervous. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's our first commercial game, first of all. And then Sony's like, hey, we'll send you some dev kits. And then, like, a month later, we kicked him back a build that was running. And they're like, Do you have Shane or Nick? Uh, Nick. Nick, yeah. okay. The woodsman. Just gentle beard. Yeah. Uh, but, like, then they were like, hey, you guys want to, like, you know, have some floor space at E3? We're like, yeah, sure, you know, we've done some trade shows before. That'll be cool. We've done packs a bunch of times or whatever. Uh, and then they asked us if we wanted to be on stage. And we were like, uh... Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. this is like a once in a yeah, yeah, yeah. once in a lifetime sort of thing for a studio to do, um, or at least that's how I see it for us. Uh, no, it's just, that's the correct way to look at it. Yeah. I mean, anyone uh, getting exposure like that, you should, like, it's an amazing opportunity, and it's definitely right to think it's like it could never happen again. But know? this was like you know, maybe three or four weeks out, yeah. uh, and so we just like sat there and played the part we were going to show like to death. Uh, on PS4 to make sure that you know it was gonna run smooth on stage, yeah. and but it was just super nerve wracking. Kevin was up there playing, and I was sitting out in the audience, and just like freaking out. Yeah. And then like, it showed up and people cheered, but I didn't actually hear them cheer. Yeah. Like it was sort right, of like right, this right. Sempor- yeah, yeah, yeah. sensory deprivation yeah. almost like where I was in shock. It was like I had to go watch it afterwards to make sure that actually people cared. Yeah. So it's funny because that happened to, to us too. So we had Rekketeer yeah. at the Microsoft conference like two or three years ago. And uh, I was the same thing. I'm in the audience, and I didn't think anyone cheered. And I went back and watched the tape, and no one cheered. <laughs> so it's a little different. It's a little different. But anyway, go ahead. So that's that. That's You're really good experience. at awkward. I try. That's my gift. You're like a king. So that's, that's, that's amazing, right? But yeah, no, that w- it went well for so us. So the, the rest of that, from that point on, it's got to be like just like, let's get this freaking thing done. Yeah, basically, right? let's get it done as fast as we can and make sure that the PS4 release is as close as possible the PC one, but we didn't want to release one that one before this one because we had the obligation to Kickstarter backers and stuff like that that you know we'd been working on there. I still think they would have understood. Maybe, but I don't know. We felt weird about well, let's it. Let's face it, you only got 24K. How <laughs> yeah. much did they really help? I mean, we stretched that until release. We had like 2K left at release. So What'd you do with that 2K? I mean, it stayed, the, it to stayed in the bank until we got paid. Hey, it's Kickstarter scams. Yep. You've seen it first. This is the worst. I got to admit it on camera. <laughs> Good job, Scamming. Phil. Scamming Jordan, how do you feel about your $35 now? It was actually 10. I just didn't want to feel like a cheap-ass. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing some of it went to ramen today. That is just the game, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so game comes out. But yeah. So what was the... Because I remember seeing... Uh, the tweets of you guys all in the apartment on launch day. Yeah, yeah, we, like, we so all were just sitting around on the couch watching Steam numbers and stuff. So what was that like? How surreal? Like, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but like, what, get, walk us through like what it's like to get that kind of exposure, to work so hard for so long on something, and then finally like have it out there for everyone to kind of experience. What's that like? You want the honest answer. I want the, I want the raw dog honest answer. So we were all super excited, but we were also extremely nervous because it's like, even though we got all this attention and everybody tells us, you know, it's great, oh, we love it, blah, 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 we're going to buy it, uh, you still are just, like, in this mode where you're thinking, like, nobody's going to fucking buy this. Yeah. And it's going to fail and we're all going to die somehow. Yeah. Uh, but, no, it, it ended up turning out well. Um, though, you know, then reviews start pouring in and then you start reading them all, even though everybody's like, don't read them, don't worry about it, but you still yeah. read them all. Uh, and reviews were all over the place. Like some it were like still really, some were like yeah. fours, some were like eights and nines, and it was just all in between. Uh, 
think we're sitting at like a 69 Metacritic, if that matters. But uh, but sales went well. Yeah. Uh, better than we expected. Uh, though, you know, I don't know. We talked to a lot of other like kind of successful independent folks. Uh, and so we had sort of like high high places to yeah. reach for. It's one of those things, I think if you would have launched a year earlier with the same game, you would have yeah. sold much, much, much more. Yeah. Right? It's just that thing where Steam is now starting to like, you know, as more and more games get up there, it's the same dollars are going into Steam, but they're just getting spread around to more games right. now. But yeah, and, and we so, had to go through Greenlight yeah. uh, and stuff, which wasn't as hard for us because we kind of lined up some YouTuber stuff around yeah. the same time and it worked out. Uh, I think we were like the second month or something like that. Of still Greenlight. infuriating though. But it's still like, God, really? Seriously? Yeah. Uh, although then I treated that more as like a marketing opportunity because then we leveraged all that, those green light people. Yeah. Uh, and to, you know, yeah, like, it's oh like, yeah, by the way, like, the game's out and they get notified. And Yeah, like my experience with Dive Kick and green light was I hated every second of green light, but then the minute we got green lit, it looked at it as like a, a good thing to have done. Right. Because it's like, you no, know, it made us earn an audience. You know, it made us like have these people who now listen to what we have to say about it and care. And now, they, in a lot of ways, they go spread the good word about the game themselves, right? Yeah, and yeah. So, I just yeah. try to treat it, you know, like I do Twitter or Facebook or anything else like that. Um, so super grumpy fans. all the time, then? Super grumpy all the time. That's just my personal Octodad account is it's nothing just, but sunshine. I actually don't follow Octodad. I should do this <laughs> just to get the counterbalance yeah, yeah. to see how high you can go. That's where I I flip everything. Nice. But, I uh, like it. Okay, so game's out, doing well, mm -hmm. and now what are you yeah. guys doing in Octodad land? We're working on some DLC called Octodad Shorts, uh, which are just like a couple one-off levels, um, sort of like, you know, a Simpsons episode or whatever. You don't really need to have played the full game to play right. and enjoy them. Uh, and so, yeah, we're just putting those two levels out. They're free. Nice. Um, just as like an update. You don't have to like go out of your way to download them or yeah, anything yeah. like that or find them. And uh, yeah, you go on your first date with Scarlett your wife at this like fancy Italian restaurant. Oh, so it's like Back to the Future style. It's exactly like Does Back Biff to the Future. Does Biff Tannen show up? <laughs> yes. Get no. your damn hands off her. And you're like, you're dating your mom, but yeah. it's not actually that was my That was my Back, Back to the Future impression. It's anyway. actually nothing like that. No, they remember? The I guy, know what you're talking the, about. The nerdy dad comes in the car, yeah. goes, get your damn hands off her. He tricks him into winning her. Yeah. 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 So you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Don't front. Even though it's really, it's nothing like that at all. But it's just you, like dinner at a restaurant. First date. Is, is it too late to rework it? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as we're, we're doing VO pretty soon, yeah. yeah. I really wish you would have talked to me about this first. You never um, call. Well, this is true, but I still wish you talked to me about it first. All right, all right. Well, if all we right. do any more, we'll talk about so, it. So that's coming out yeah. when? That's coming out late summer is, is the official word, but we're shooting for... Don't uh, be too specific, Phil. You don't want to tie yourself down. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're... Soon. So, PS4, yeah. PS4, Steam, PC, Mac, Linux, Mac, Linux Steam, so. Humble, GOG. So was, was that, was the Mac and Linux, was it worth doing? And from just, I don't care about like, I'm yeah. talking about just financially, was it worth doing? Financially, yeah. Yeah. Like barely or worth it? So it's hard because Linux sales weren't that great. Um, but the Linux people who got the game were super happy about it. Because the thing is you look, because yeah, because like we, we didn't, we never did dive kick. Um, we could have done it on Mac and Linux. It would have been more work. Yeah. Uh, but, like, we ultimately just looked at the Steam stats and said, holy crap, like, an impossibly small percentage of people log into Steam on Linux. You know, mm -hmm. so we just passed on it. Yeah. So. I don't know, we did it more for, like, preparing for stuff like Humble Bundle and stuff mm. um, so that we wouldn't have to do it later. And plus, like, the engine we were using kind of already had it mostly set up for us. We just had to fix some bugs. So We should Humble Bundle. Yeah. We should. I got. I got a. I, I got a group going. That's wicked. Yeah. Wicked good. I'm not gonna. You gotta, you gotta. I gotta. Yeah. We'll talk after this. Whisper into my it's ear later. It's a really good humble bundle. Don't want to say anything, but it's really good. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I, I, that went well for us. Uh, and PS4 has done well for us. And are you guys thinking about next stuff yet? A little bit. Yeah. We started brainstorming and just talking up ideas. Are you scared shitless that yes. you're not gonna be able to reach this height again? Yeah. yeah pretty much. I mean, like this has been three four years coming and uh, kind of like lightning in a bottle situation. So it's, it'll be interesting. Here's my advice to you. So, so you're, you plan on being in games forever, right? I mean, that's the hope until I hate it enough to quit. So I've been doing this a long time. I don't hate it enough to quit yet. Yeah. I don't think you will either. Probably but my, my sincere advice to you, make your next game a turd. Like lay so just, the third game lay, just like lay a steamer. <laughs> and just get it out the way. Because uh, everyone's got one in them. Yeah. 
and it's better to control the situation when you do it. I mean, I'm hoping that it's like the palate cleanser. We'll see, because we've all done you know three or four other games in school before, yeah, full games that were total steamers. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We've got ideas, and we're just trying to do. We're trying to follow the same formula and just doing something super, super weird. Okay, uh, is the hope. All right, we'll see. Well, cool. Thanks, Phil. Any yeah. parting words? Well, you're staying here to play some yeah, I'm games. Yeah, staying here to play games. I don't any, know. Any, any, is there anything interesting I did not ask you about that you'd like to comment on? Oh wait, I know. I got one thing. Oh no, Phil, how do you buy your clothes? <laughs> trunk club and only trunk, trunk club. Trunk club for men. Trunk club for men. Explain how trunk club. As you works. can see, these beautiful vans uh, with custom bought laces uh, are directly from Trunk Club. Trunk but Club sounds like the most baller thing of all time. I'm too scared to do it. It's nice though. You like you go to a you go to a stylist. See right there, I'm no, out. No, but they right have, there, I'm out. It's nice. You go there. They have an HQ here in Chicago. Uh, you don't have to do this. So they have. So first of all, you can only have one HQ. Whatever. They have a little <laughs> you know what, you're, you're the worst. Do you know what HQ stands for? No, I. It stands for never head, heard it stands for headquarters. Wow. And that means there's one headquarters. I'm glad I learned something today. So is it their headquarters or is it just an office? It's just an office. Well, I'm I, so. I don't know. It might. I want to do it at the HQ. Point being, you go there, <laughs> they pick out, they ask you like what you want, like what kind of clothes you want for what kind of occasions. And then they just go and pick them out. And do you say, like, uh, grumpy tweeting? Yeah. And then Real they put this ensemble together for you? <laughs> and she brings me a pair of sweatpants and a jug of chocolate milk. <laughs> and it's the worst. Amazing. No, they have, like, a full bar there. They give you drinks and stuff while you're waiting. And go on. It's nice. And just, All like, of a sudden, I'm intrigued. Yeah. What's the minimum you could spend a month and get this kind There's of treatment? There's no minimum. It's, it's, like, it's pay when you want. It's, like, oh, I need... A suit. And oh, so it's opt-in? Yeah, it's opt-in. It's not like a subscription. What, are the, what do you do? So, like, I, uh, you know, you might not tell this by looking at me because I'm pretty ripped right now. But I tend to be like a bit of a roller coaster with the weight. Mm. How do you handle that situation with Trunk Club? Well, I mean, do a you lot just of go in when you're at max, max velocity? Max weight. And then you can, you can always get a tr- They have a tailor that you can always bring it back in and get that oh. fitted. So they got you. How many times can you tail a close? <laughs> A tailor tails, I mean, tails, at some point, right? I... I so if a tailor tails? A tailor tails, yes. At some point, I think those pants are not going to work. You're going to have to light them, just, just light them on fire. And just get light them out? Yeah. Yeah, do you have to have every date? All right. <laughs> well, let's play some dive kick. All right. I, we're going to see, we're going to let you and Ramon Is that play. your video game? This is not, well, this is the game I paid for, but it's not my game. Oh, okay. It's Adam's. So uh, let's, let's get Jordan caught up here. Let's make sure we got... A st- stream, let us know if we got audio and all that good stuff going. Uh, stream says, Chicago, stream, stream says Chicago is the HQ, not Sorry. IHQ. <laughs> is it IHQ or the HQ? McCarran. McCarran says it's the HQ. Thank you, Patrick. Oh, it's downtown. It's nice. You should go. Okay, I'll check it out. All right, well, so who do you... Who, so, Ramon, here's the deal. If you were going to play 10 matches, well, we'll see how long it takes. We'll play a few matches. If you lose one to fill, mm-hmm. you're going to have to do laps around the building. Around the building? Yeah. All right. You deal. should not lose to fill. Phil, when's the last time you played this? It's been month, a long freaking time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I played it on Vita back when it came out. If you lose one, you're running laps around the building. Okay. And you're going to play as long as. I Wait, you're going to play until I lose? No. <laughs> we gotta, this stream's not going to go on like forever. Some collusions going we'll on see here. what happens. All right, All let's right. get into it. I think Phil, you think you're P1. Yeah, you're hit, P1. The, hit the yellow. Yep. There we go. So this is uh, the build we're looking at here is PS3 version of Edition Edition Plus. Um, edition Edition Plus. For those who don't know, it's the one where. So the, the plan is. Boy, I'm horrible at explaining this. Can I restart over? No. Mm-mm. Was, yeah, we edit this in post, Jordan. All right, here's Edition Edition Plus. Boom, everyone knows we, we released Edition Edition as a free update for everybody a few months ago. That was like a major yes. rebalance of the game, off. added some stuff like traditional menu modes. Um, no. And now we're adding Plus, which means we're adding a new character for the release of PS... Oh, you got nothing? I got nothing. Hold on. It's going to take it. Is your controller off? No. Disconnected over there. This is only the finest of troubleshooting we have here. I'm gonna have to hit the PlayStation button. Okay, so that worked. Yeah. Hurry up! Just like hold it. 
No, hit, uh, just back out. Hit start. What? Oh, you know what? If, it, if it's that other control, then it's the wire remote. Try the other one. The one sitting over there by the PS3. Oh, you think it's turned on? Like, yeah, maybe that one's turned on and it's player two. See if that works. If not, we'll be switching right to Gunsport. And I don't have to run black. I'll just switch this off controller too. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Cool. All right, and so we did uh, Edition Edition as a free update um, for everyone. And now we're doing Edition Edition Plus. And basically that is going to be the plat. So we're looking at Edition Edition Plus is like a platform for Dive Kick going forward, right? So we're adding one new character. We're adding Johnny Gat from Saints Row. Uh, thanks so much to Volition and Deep Silver for letting us include them. Um, super fun. They were great about like the whole thing. And basically as long as people are playing the game, we're going to keep adding characters for free. Um, we've got one more that's done already. It's kind of in the can, just waiting to be played. And once we get to a certain threshold of online games played, we're going to release the character. But notice I didn't. I use the gender neutral, or even what kind? Is it a creature? Who knows? No, uh, nobody else. Anyone could say it. Um, they'll release that character as a free update for everybody. So, like I said, we're selling it on PS4 and Xbox One, uh, but we're also going to be doing this as a free update for anyone who already has the game on PS3, Vita, Steam, and uh, we all love the game here. Obviously, uh, it's really fun to work on and kind of create new characters. And Adam Hart's got a billion ideas for more stuff he wants to get in the game. Um, so we're just kind of looking for excuses to kind of like keep working on it. So as long as you guys are buying it and playing it, we'll keep doing it. So, um, Ramon, you're about to lose him. Yep. Ramon! I don't gotta lose none. This one doesn't count. Holy cow, so... He had three runs, I, so, three <laughs> runs I So you, you still should have, right? You agree you should have beat him. Whatever. You should have that controller set up. Ramon, slide over your left a little bit. You're off. Yeah, there you go. Let so, it be known that I've offered Octa that up, but you don't think you can dive and kick. Uh, I think so. Here's I actually had a design that Adam hated for Octodad Dad in the game. Really? So the thing is, Adam is so like, Adam's the one I have to fight. Adam's the one you have to talk right. to. Let's say let's not say fight. Let's say talk to. Uh, <laughs> let's just let's get Johnny Gat in here. Let's let people see Johnny Gat. Let's get one of you pick him. Go to. Yes. Or just Come rematch on. either way. I've heard it both ways. That's cool. <laughs> um, we can pause and go out. Yeah. So what I wanted is I wanted. Uh, no, just, I just, just close to... out. Just close out. Just, just finish. Right. Yeah. Get bopped. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, I had a cool design that Adam hated. And Adam's kind of the curator yeah. of all things dive kick, right? So but my design was basically, let's make him like Hagar in Marvel. So I get all, because it comes down to like, how do, what are his specials, yeah. right? And so I wanted one, you know, Hagar, you might not know Marvel, but Hagar's got this thing where he sticks his arms out and it spins around like a tornado and it's like pops everyone around him. Yeah. He's also got this pipe that pulls out of nowhere and does this. Guess what? Octodad's got crazy big tentacles. That's true. You can do both of those specials wow. with Octodad. Uh, Adam, Adam was not quite in there yet, but, you know, if this game does well and really scrape it, like, I think Adam's got, like, literally designs for 20 more characters on paper, but if we get to that 21st character, I think we'll be calling you. Oh, man. So there's, there's something I ask you a question. This is another, this is another thing Adam is adamant about. Um, in the game they're originally from, the character needs to have a dive kick. So can you so make an Octodad, you need to dive kick. Yes. So can you make Octodad dive kick in Octodad? I mean, it could. How, like, how do you do that? Because like, you, you can't jump, right? So. No, but we were talking about like an ink squirt. So like when it gets real suspicious, it squirts all his ink out and goes flying. Okay. That sort of thing. So I guess it's possible. And basically, you know, with the physics, I'm sure like one time out of a hundred, you yeah. can make the physics happen just the way you need it. By the way, <laughs> Phil, you're boxed. Need to break it to you. All right, so Ramon, yeah, you, you, you've already, you're already running laps. Uh -huh. um, apparently. Do you want to double down? Do you want to go double or nothing on the laps? If but you have to fraud him here. With Johnny Gat? Yeah. Never played Johnny Gat. I mean, you shouldn't matter. You should okay. destroy him. You work on this game all the time. Uh -huh. Phil has been played it since he was like crouched over his Vita on day one, and then he was on to the next do? indie hotness. Sure, it's me. Good, smart choice and kick. Jordan, what's the gem? John, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, kick gem, yeah, all day. So you gotta pick purple, so. Alright. That perp! This is a battle of that perp. So. So what's my double or nothing? Double or nothing, you have to fraud him. If you don't fraud him, it's double the laps. Okay. And, and I'm not, I'm not actually making this opt in, I'm telling you. Yeah, these so are okay, the, these are the terms of this. No, that's fight. fair. You're gonna take these laps? Round one. 
We got editing technology, we good. Johnny Gat's got some cool stuff if you've never seen him. So he's got like, he's got a very long kick. It's kind of like, you know how like if you're playing Chun, uh, the foot just immediately comes out and like closes a lot of territory. Johnny Gat's got that kind of um, going for him. Um, but his specials are really cool. So special as you just saw there was the black hole gun. Um, basically what it does, it's really effective against some characters, like characters that kick flat, like Shoals or Mothman or Tongue. Um, you can basically kind of like get them into traps with it. And the ground special. So, double, do you want to call it quadruple or nothing? <laughs> quadruple or nothing? <laughs> What's the quadruple? It doesn't get you again. Okay, <laughs> quadruple the laps. Let's just... <laughs> Let's see. A lot of laps. A lot of, yeah, because it was 100. So now you've got 400 laps around the board. Oh, there's the car. Oh, wow. Ramon trying to show up. That a lot uh, slower than I remember. Yeah, the car is, uh, the car you got to play ahead. So his ground special, he calls one of his homies with a rod. Um, oh, my God. You're going to lose. Getting bad. <laughs> Holy crap. Ramon, you bopped. Is this the worst day of your life, Ramon? Nah, there's been worse. <laughs> this is the worst, I don't know. This is pretty inexcusable. Because this is some day one guy kick stuff we see in here. Oh, the car. Can he, can he crawl out to come back home? Now Ramon's focused. Now Ramon's focused. Ramon's focused. Oh. Wow. Yep. Sorry, buddy. That's All right. Well, rough. well, that was a good run. Um, holy crap. Let me, let me get out of here. Is it R1L1? Yeah. I don't know. Guess what's going to happen. Trouble. I'll give, I'll give you one guess as to what's going to happen. 5 0 Smart. It's a story all this time. You dive and kick. West Philadelphia born and raised. So yeah, we had a uh, dive Good kick team. down at RTX a few weeks ago. Zedek, Have you ever, you ever thought about going to that show? Yeah, I keep hearing that it's pretty cool, but we haven't gone yet. So it's a really cool show because it's like, uh, it's just, it's almost exclusively indies. Right. Like, there's like Titanfall was there. There's like a couple yes. big games there, but there's not like a lot. 2K has a booth or whatever, right? right? And so, like, a a got glass on a booth kick, but God like glasses. All right. Um, <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. That's some day one stuff. <laughs> I bait you, you jump in? This is like day two for me. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the RTX is super cool. Uh, because... Wow, 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 wow. It's, it's cool because I'm... Like, we are literally like one of the biggest studios there, right? Yeah. And we're like a nobody. And so, it's kind of cool to have that much attention that we're normally here Um... For like, you know, because like, if you go to PAX, right, there's the people who are super into indie games. Yeah. But I don't care, I don't know if it's like this for you, but our experience with PAX, like, Dive always done, oh gosh darn it. Dive Kick's always, you do the five -oh. it's always done really well at PAX, but it's always like, that fly, like, early in the morning is always a little rough. Because yeah. there's people that want to like, they get in line for the one game they're going to see that day, right? Well, they got to wait in line three hours to go like, I want to go see, I want to go see, yeah, a ball or whatever, so, right? Yeah. And so, Which does look cool, that ball looks cool. Yeah, like, and without making commentary on, are these people smart yeah, no, I know. Uh, but at RTX, there's none of that, right? RTX, they start off, and it's hot bangers right the gates. Oh my god! I thought you were just going to go, this is not bopping. Oh, I'm just going to try to talk to you and be nice yeah. and civil. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's, let's go! Can you let me out of jail like that? Wow, I had you hey, too. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm just setting you up for the big fall. Oh, okay. I'm giving you hope. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm giving you hope. You ready? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Come on, son. Come on, son. So here's the deal. Loser of this runs a lap around the building. I think you when showed... are we doing these laps? When are they right when the for? stream's done. All right. I think you showed pretty well there. Like, I think you had a... Yeah, you did better than I thought you did. I think I'm doing all right for not playing. Yeah. So I, I think loser of this... Yes. And if it's, if it's a fraud or a choke, it's double on, double that. Double that. All right. One. So two of them. Well, I didn't say what the number is yet. I'm just going to make it up at the end. We'll see if I win or lose. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, questionable headshot. Questionable headshot. Thank you for the hitbox, love, Adam. Wow, aggressive for your concussion. Yeah, 
You gotta come to me, baby. What are you? Oh man, day one stuff. Oh, come on, Phil. You're better than this. Man, you're looking at 200 laps right in the face if you don't figure this out. Reasonable. Oh, boy. I'm about to pop that kickback. About to get got. Pop. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Smart. You're actually kind of smart at this game. I just get so fighting smart. games, I just don't play back at What fighting games do you like? Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Played a lot of Smash, played uh, a lot of Naruto, Jackie Chou, Ninja Tyson. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I know what yeah. that is. <laughs> I know you're told. Oh, oh, wow. Cool. Good setup, though. Uh, Smash was amazing at hype, so me and Rona were at Evo. Yeah. Smash was pretty cool. And, yeah, I played Dive Curry, played uh, Melee a lot. I've literally never played a Smash game in my whole really? life. Really? Yeah, never. It's never so, seemed appealing to me. I played a lot of Dead or Alive. Uh, three and four. I know why you did that, though. Yeah, that's what. Got the physics. Is... No, I played his elevator. That's it. Yeah, is you're an enigma at dive kick. You have awesome setups. And then I'm half paying attention, half not. And then you do the day one stuff. The weak day one stuff! <laughs> Get bopped, son! You got too eager. Get... Oh, I can't do it. It's a G stream. All right. <laughs> Let's go to the big camera, Jordan, and we'll flip over to Gunsport. And I'll walk, I'll walk you through yeah. Gunsport. Yes. So the controller's at your feet. So that felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That was fun. Bopping you at Gunsport felt felt mighty fine. Yeah. Jordan. I'm just glad I managed to like win any of the rounds. the controllers. It's right no, it's right over the edge of your couch. It's this there. Guy. What about There's one here, there's one there. Yeah. Um so this is uh, so Gunsport by Necrosoft Games, Brandon Sheffield and his crew. His worldwide crew. He's got like programmers in Poland. Global. It's just crazy, they're everywhere. Jordan. He's like it's like this game's being made in like twelve different time zones. Um, and so uh, he started off, he has, he's only been working on this about like two months or so, three months tops. And it's, it's in a lot of ways, it's a prototype. And um, he's not 100% comfortable with showing it in the stakes. He's going to make a lot of changes. But I think the game's amazing. Uh, I think it's super fun. And I want to share it with the world. So that, that's what we're doing here. Um, I like what I'm seeing so far. So Jordan, hit uh, whatever, you hit, hit the other output. And then the, there you go. I think, you, I think you just flipped us. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We're good now. Cool. Nice. All right. So think of gun sport um, as volleyball with guns. So there's two players on a side. So there's going to be a two-player mode too, but what we're going to play today, it's four-player. All right. Um, and there's two players on a side. What? Stage one. Uh, there we go. Stage one. Stage one. There we go. Um, and so there's, there's a striker and a, who are you, Phil? I'm two. Okay. So I'll be, I'm, so I'm four. So I yeah, so let's go, go to the left, Phil. You get to use your, uh, triggers. triggers. Oh, triggers? Okay. Yeah. All right. You two. Okay. So it's me and Phil on one yeah, team pink, three. Ramon and Jordan on team blue. And so the goal is to, but instead of like volleyball where you're doing like bumps or sets or whatever, you're shooting the ball to make it go places, right? Okay. So yeah. there's a, a keeper and a striker. So if you've never played before, I'm going to recommend you be the keeper. Um, I'll be the striker. All right. So controls are as such. The triggers adjust your aiming. X shoots. Um, oh. And if you're the, if you're the uh, I got to take my glasses off. Oh, I'm going to watch. Okay, I see. Okay, so yeah, so just kind of like get used to adjusting your aim. So I'm this girl with the the green shorts on. You're the dude there in the back with the suspenders. And the keeper can't move. Yeah, keeper doesn't move. Um, Right there. So your goal is to shoot the ball into goals like that to get points. Okay. Kind of the longer the valley, volley, the more points it's worth. Um, the striker can jump and move around. Uh, the striker. So the way the way shooting works is, uh, goal. The the goal. Uh, the keepers have two shots and the striker has one, but your shot. Your gun auto reloads um, when the ball crosses over to your side. Okay. And that's basically all you need to know. So you have two shots per your side. Yeah. For the for, for the you. for the keeper. For you, yeah. yeah. Good job. Oh, that's what we call nice. a setup. That's a that's a gun sport setup. Thanks for thanks for being free, Jordan. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> are you the, are you the striker, Boy, Jordan? Oh, no, that's me. No, no, I'm the striker. Oh wow. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I blew that. that bounces me. Oh, there's a net too. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah. So right. the game of eventually, from hearing Brandon tell it, it's gonna have. Oh my gosh, oh, that's, that's horse bleep. Um, it's going to have a bunch of stages, a bunch of different teams. 
Uh, it's going to have some online play for maximum fun. Um, and we, we, we uh, kind of let Brandon show this at our booth at RTX. And uh, it was crazy, man. People, like, were coming back day after day after day to check it out. And mm -hmm. by the end of it, they were good. Like, they were getting, like, I said, the, the longer the rally is, the more points there are. Yeah. Um, and by the end of it, when you had two really good teams playing, it was, like, 50-point like rallies. It was insane. So this is obviously on PC. I believe he's got plans to get it on console as well. Nice. Um, cool. Oh, nice. man, just so elite. Nice. It's got a nice, like, <laughs> sort of windjammers <laughs> feel to it. Yeah. Oh, that was bad. I screwed that up. Oh. Yeah, there's nice. a lot of people that said uh, this reminds them of windjammers. I mean, it's just the setup, really, yeah. not the gameplay yeah. that much. Oh, my God. There you go. Hold you got to block the goal, the Phil. Uh, if I'm going to be aggressive play up here, you got to block the goal. What are you doing? See that what are you doing? No, but he should have shot it. He's the, he was going at an angle towards the ground. I'm aggressive. I'm playing it. aggressively. Phil, we I were want so to strong. I move the gun with the we're, control stick. I don't know why I'm using we're, we're, triggers. That's just the default controls. We're working on it. All right. Because I, th I think the, the, the thing with the, with the triggers versus the stick yeah. is Brandon wants it to be like... So if it's stick, <laughs> the gameplay would be like super twitch, right? right? It and wants to be more about positioning. Yeah, it wants to be about positioning and setups right. and thoughtful kind of stuff. That's um, reasonable. <laughs> We're still winning. It's good. It's fine, Jordan. Just learn it. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. So we're still going to win this. Even though they, they had that good run on us, we're still going to yeah. win. We had a run? Yeah, you had a run. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That blew was that. poor time. I blew it. I'm going to say that was poor it's okay, time. okay, I blew it. Gosh darn it. I'm real bad at that. I got this. Save oh. it. Tell me, Jordan. Is there lag in the monitor I don't know about, Phil? Is something <laughs> going on here? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Tell me. Okay, we're still up. Don't panic. Boom. Oh, Only two points, though. We need, we need to win a big round. What is this up to? 60. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we good. Good job. Yeah. See, we're going to lift each other up. We're not going to hold each there other we back. Go. We're going to lift there each other go. up. <laughs> like brothers. Oh, my gosh. Good save. Wow, wow, wow. You're a stone wall. Stone wall Tibitowski. Gosh ah. darn it. Except for that. Blew it on the, the last stone one. wall may have crumbled at the yeah. end there, but... Okay, this might be, we're, we're, we're rapidly approaching the point where next point this wins, tied up. Nice. Wow, wow, wow. Yes. Oh, wow, wow. Good. Here we go. Can't let it volley. Boom! No! We go. Top shelf. God damn it. All right. Do I need to go get mad? So now, here, you try a striker. <laughs> So we're switching roles. Why don't you guys switch? Right. Is left stick move? Left or? stick moves, A jumps. All right. Now we find this. I'm, I'm the... I'm the uh, oh, you jump? You can jump in this game? Yeah. Be good. So when Gunsport, I'm the third best goalie in the Midwest. Yeah. Oh. You wouldn't tell by that. This is Not save, but I'm the, I'm the third, third best goalie best in the Midwest. Midwest. Okay. Wow, spiked. That's fair. So the other kind of subtle thing with the game that's pretty oh, neat wow. is depending on where you hit the ball, mm -hmm. like it affects the direction it flies. Yeah. And so like the goalie can actually like spike it down. Is it a little English? Yeah. yeah. Oh my uh. god, sorry, that's my bad. Oh, I blew it. Good job, Phil. There we go. Phil, you're a natural. You're a gun sport natural. I'm liking these outfits. Sorry, all I can think about is Trump Club. <laughs> yeah, I was asking Brandon, like, so it's like the stage, I think the stage is called Neo Tokyo. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I, gosh darn it. Ah. I gotta stop talking. And I asked him why are the, uh, you know, characters dressed like they're in the 80s. Yeah. And he said, because it's rad. Oh, my God. It's a real bad excuse. And that's, well, no, there's, you don't need a better reason than that, really. Ah. 
Nice. Oh. Measly go. three points. When we got to climb right. out of the Yeah, pit. we, we got to get climb. this volley. Right. Holy oh. shit, that's not how to do it. There we go. Oh my god. Oh god. Ooh, a little contention. So that's called a, yeah, that's a team attack. That's basically if both shoot of you... Shoot at the same time. Yeah, shoot at the same... Fo no, I think it's called team attack. I think it's called the focus attack. Oh, oh my gosh! That's bad. What are you talking to me for? Here we go. The comeback really train The comeback train oh, starts now. All right, the comeback all right. train starts I'm now. The best in the <laughs> I'm elite. I'm so godlike at this game. I don't see it. Look at that save. Oh. Oh, you can't aim up. You know what we don't have with this configuration, Phil? We what? don't got those sweet setups we had before. Yeah. Boom! There you go. There you go. Come back. I got to set you up. I got I to gotta get you. I'll set it up so you can knock it down. Oh, my God. I'm horrible. There we go. Oh. Boom. Yep. Boom. It's all right. We got it. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Oh. Sorry. Get in. There you go. Boom. Hey, who's up now? Mm. Geniuses. Right, who's up right. now? Time to clutch up. Always clutch. Oh, wow. I, I oh, screwed boy. that up. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, dangerous. Oh, my no. God. Sorry. Saved. Get bent. Ah! My shot didn't come back soon enough. Here we go. It's got to cross like yeah. over and on back. Oh, whoa. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's not do that one again. <laughs> Get in. I got this. I got this. Oh, no, I don't. <gasps> How did I do that? I blew it. Okay, now we, we have to shut him out now. <gasps> My oh. God, I'm the worst keeper. Oh. I'm now the fourth best keeper in the Midwest. <laughs> it's real fast okay. rank drop. Let's switch back. All right. And you guys go whatever config you think is best. Now it's all star config sure. match. Yeah, all star config. Yeah, Sorry, I blew that, Phil. It's all right. <laughs> I just jump and press okay. X. Hey, Jordan. Sometimes Jordan, move the mouse off the screen. Nice. Was it? Nice. Was it really? How about six? How about Boom. six? Boom. Get in. Nice. Wow, you guys wow. are free. Good. Stay free. Right now, it's fine. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I totally whipped that. <laughs> oh, nice save. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, you nice. guys stink. Lob. You guys stink so bad. <laughs> just set it up so for bad. you and you just let it no, go. So bad. I'm like, wow. Oh, that was my right. fault. Oh, we did that. Back. Get those sweet three time. points. Oh boy. Nice. Boom. Setups. Yeah, I think I think Brandon said something about he's gonna change it Ooh. so you actually serve the ball. Oh yeah. Um, That'd be interesting. Yeah. Oh. oh. We both blew it that time. I well. Don't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we touched the ball once there. Nice. Oh, wow, oh, wow. You have no, shot? no more bullets. Oh, wow. I thought you were out of bullets. Gosh. Oh, that wasn't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that wow, wow, wow. Just right in. I stopped playing. Real bad. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Team, hashtag Even team worse. no more bullets. <laughs> Ah, blew it. That's cool. Nice. 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 That's good. That's, That's the good, good stuff right good there. Volley. Ah, oh, good save. No. Wow, wow, wow. That was good. Nice. Wow, wow, wow. That was good. Wow, wow, wow. You guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the Quattro. We'll switch, we'll switch next time. 
pulling it a comeback. Oh, no, Whoa. no, no. Go. Oh, what am I doing? I suck. Oh. That's my bad. Get that 13. Bad timing on that. My B. Oh. God bless America. I, did, I was jamming on it before I my gun reloaded. I got to stop shooting. I got to save him. I got to play more defensively as he shoots one across the bow. Sorry, we're You're still 20. getting bopped. You guys 20. are so fucking free. Get there fucked, go. boy! God, you guys stink. Fucking super G-rated. What happened to G-rated? Yeah. Jeez. Fucking blew that one. Ugh. Oh, what are you doing? Like that. that was you. No. Yeah, no, we good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wow, 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 Phil. Was that me too? No. Was that, that me too? Yeah, it was. <laughs> wow. There you go. Furious action. Um, Both. That's unfortunate. That was real bad. <laughs> that was real bad. <laughs> oh. There you go. Clutch. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Okay, you guys do Getting you. Real mad. Okay. Oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! This is real bad. <laughs> Can we get a timeout? <laughs> Does Future Sports have timeouts? Need some Gatorade. Oh, oh my oh god. god! Let's go! Oh. I think we won. Get bodied! Hey, Dave. Hi. What, Dave, what happens if I have more than 60 points? <laughs> Dave. What happens, Dave. What Dave. happens when you Dave. start out 22 and 0 and screw it? Let's go 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. We're on a back. Oh. 20 bucks. I'll front our team. You guys go in 10 bucks each. 10 oh, bucks. Man. 10 bucks each of you, 20 me. Let's go. Not fucking yeah, why not? Fuck. <laughs> no way we should have lost that shit. This is the biggest mistake you've ever made. <laughs> He's never going to pay us even if we do it. Nope. Bite your tongue. I'm a man of my word. Go! There. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh wow. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Come on. Quick four. Phil, I know you don't have any money on the line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's I should have oh, shot it. That's me. Bad. I should have shot it. I mean you should have saved it too, but I should have got it. Oh boy. Get bent. Ooh. Only four points. A little knockback. I think I gotta play a little further from the net. Nice. Oh wow. Nice. God. Get in. Uh, oh my oh. god. Nice. No. Good job. I have no more. There we go. Yeah, none of us did. Nice. There we nice. go. Good setups. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Come on. Nice. Ooh. 15. That was nice. 15. That was good. Ramon, how do you say 15 in Colombian? Uh, I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Isn't Colombian a language? Yep. How do you say it? Quince. Quince. Get in. Nice. Take, take two points at a time, baby. <laughs> two points at a time. Let's go. Ah, I fucked that up. Nice. Ooh. Nice save. There we go. Uh, oh, the lift. Uh, that's, how, that's how we do right. it, Phil. Right there. Come back from worse. You did come back from worse. Oh, all right. What? No. <laughs> 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 
Nice. Phil, you're an elite goalie. Trying. I'd pull this. Good 14 points. It. Sorry. I can knock it. This isn't even real wood. It doesn't matter. If you believe it in your heart, it's true. There we Ooh, go. There we good. go. That's how we get every point, mm. just like that. Let those dummies shoot for it. That was, wow. That was bad. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> emptied your clip a little yeah. early there. Did you say he shot his load? Cool. Nice spike. That, okay. Smooth. Tension's high. No. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. Do you guys want to know what I'm going to do with your $20? What's that? Do you want to know what I'm going to do with it? What's that? I'm going to burn that shit. I don't even want it. I just want to embarrass you. Oh. Get in! Oh. Boom! Boom! It was good. <laughs> Boom! God damn. Pay me! <laughs> Pay me! You Pay owe me. me! You owe me! Woo! <laughs> I cannot front. That feels pretty good. Uh-huh. Do we want to play right. the other level? No, we're going to shut that down. It was now. fun. It was fun. I'm going to end on that note. <laughs> Let's flip over. Wow, that felt good. Okay. Wow. That's that. That's that patented huh. gun sport hype. Ramon, how does it feel to be that free? What's it like? I don't know. You... What's that like? Stay fresco. Oh. Stay fresco. Oh. I, it's not like we, you know, lost a 30-point deficit or something. That's, that's the best you got, I guess. All right, well, it's time to yeah. shut the show down. Thanks, everyone, for watching, tuning in for the inaugural Tender Moments with Team IGS. We're going to do this every week. Different guests, different hosts, uh, different games, but always hype. Always. That's the Iron every Galaxy time. promise. Um, now it's time for the Tender Moment. Ramon? Yes. I know I said some hurtful things when we were playing Gunsport. You did. I did. And it's important for you to understand that... In spite of your questionable Colombian lineage, um, I love you and I respect you, and we're going to be friends forever. It makes me feel a lot better, Dave. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Shut it down. Ooh. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. It's fun. 20 bucks. <laughs> nice. Just like that.